Good evening. Good day. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about some of the funnier things that have occurred throughout the years and some of the funniest uh, characters that I have met throughout the years. Um, one such uh, character was uh, a friend, uh, we'll just call this friend Jay. Jay in all of my 52, almost 53 years was the shadiest individual I have ever met in my life. Uh, he was wickedly funny, wickedly cool. Uh, Jay branded me with uh, my name amongst our friendship circle of Madam. And for um, many of the younger generation um, who this reference is sort of lost on, um, there was a staple on this show that was called Hollywood Squares in the 80s um, in the in earlier um and madam was a puppet and with extreme features so this nickname of madam was not a compliment uh my other friend troy he always used to say or refer to Troy as his inky black ass. My other friend, Kelvin, he would tell Kelvin that Kelvin had upside down bowling pins for legs. And for my good girlfriend, Vio, My goodness. So, on one occasion, um, I had long come in from work, so I was sitting up on our studio, and I call it studio being kind because it was second floor uh, within uh, Jay's home that didn't have any walls or doors. So it was a unchic studio vibe. I had long come in from work and uh, Troy recently come in and I asked Troy, did you see Jay? And uh, Troy said, no, Jay's not here. And I asked because Troy and I would talk about how vicious Jay was. We would, uh, Jay had this fantasy that Jay looked like Diana Ross. And so Jay always wanted to do, uh, be a Diana Ross impersonator. Um, but look nothing like Diana Ross. But, um, and had no talent when it came to putting on makeup or uh, beating a face as we used to call it. And not to say that I do um, or ever have, I can barely try to put something together for this mug, um, but, um, I knew people that did, and so, um, when in need, I have them try to work a miracle here. Um, so, 
we would laugh and giggle for hours, uh, being shady, talking about how horrible Miss J's face would look. Uh, Miss J's last performance as Diana Ross and how horrible it was, or this, that, and, or the other. Um, and we took particular delight in it because <clears throat> I think I mentioned on uh, a previous episode how Miss J would saunter up and down the stairs in mules, <laughs> leaving uh, feathers all over the place. At all hours of the night, uh, without concern for us. So, you know, we certainly had no problem being shady and talking about Miss J amongst ourselves. So we started and we were uh, blessed, thank God, that particular evening because we didn't talk about Miss J's face or we would have been homeless. We sat and we talked about uh, I think just uh, something that Miss J had said that was particularly shady. And forgive me because I don't remember what it was that Miss J had said. I just remember that Miss J that we thought was not in the home started eavesdropping on our conversation and popped up out of nowhere saying, that's not what I meant. And my friend Troy Eyes got big as saucers, mouth fell open. I was shocked, but I'm like, oh my goodness, we're caught. Uh, roll with it. So I'm like, no need to stop now. I kept on and I even brought in our good friend Vio for good measure, just so it would seem as if we were having a gossip session talking about all of our friends. Jay couldn't wait to run back and tell Vio, oh, Vio, and they, they sit up there and they talk about us. Oh. Via was like, yeah, we're all shady. Um, <laughs> but because of that, Vio, I'm sorry, Troy, um, feeling guilty, said yes when Ms. J wanted to do a show. And he wanted to wow by having uh, the Supremes. So, you know, if he's Diana, he needs his Florence and his Mary. And I think I've already said how shady Jay was. So nobody else was going to work with him and do it which left Troy and myself. <sighs> he put us through hell. It was funny now. Uh, it's funny now. I wasn't funny then. For these rehearsals. And um, we'd just be, ooh, ooh, ooh. You're moving too much. You don't have to do all that shaking. 
uh, Troy, if you don't sit your inky black ass down, um, he went and bought because he was, uh, still, uh, getting back at us. He went and bought these outfits out of, um, I don't know if the store still exists, but Rainbow. He went and found the cheapest um, outfits he could get in Rainbow. Fortunately, uh, Troy is a very skilled seamstress. So, Troy turned that trash into something that looked gorgeous for us. And so, um, I just remember us going on very, very late to be his backup singers, Lawrence and Mary, ooh, 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 ooh in the background. And when the performance ended, I thought, oh, goodness. We've escaped that one. Nice. We're, we're done. I didn't realize they were going to give Shady J the mic to be able to talk. So Shady J was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Of course, Shady J kept all the tips for himself. Um, and Shady J was like, what do you think of my backup singers? What do y'all think? Mm. Weren't they delightful? And uh, this is Troy, da 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 da, some pleasantries. And then Shady J turned to me and said, now, Miss CJ, what can we say about Miss CJ? Half grinning, half smirking, like a Cheshire cat. Ah. I still look back and I laugh at some of the, the antics of Jay. Um, I told you all before how Jay would have our friend Troy, I'm sorry, our, um, our friend Calvin come, pick him up, uh, take him around, particularly to this, I think there was a seafood restaurant to go get some seafood where he would sit there, uh, he, he did offer Kelvin some, Kelvin didn't want any, and sit there and just eat his seafood all in front of us. He wouldn't offer us not near half a piece of shrimp. Oh, like he is just shady to no end. Um. These are the things that, you know, you sit back there in life and they sort of uh, bring a smile to your face. Um, oh, Miss J. Well, I just wanted to bring you a, a lighter, funnier story. Uh, this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.